it's Wednesday, it is Ask a Stupid Question Day, and we need more stupid questions from you guys, so please keep them coming in to us here at cbbc at bbc.co.uk. Now, before another hilariously amazing hotel trouble, uh, Jeff asked me a lot of quick-fire questions. I got 22 points. Can Jeff beat my score? Do you know what? I don't mind if I do. I'm just entering into it for the fun of it. You kind of ruin everything, don't it's you? It's a talent. What can OK, you are you ready for this? I am. Let's put some numbers on the clock, and here we go. From Kathleen in Southport, if orange is a fruit and the sky is blue, why is Jeff's hair so crazy? Uh, because cabbages are green. Correct. Thank you. From Philip from Birmingham, what rhymes with orange? Oh, it's uh, orchestra. No, incorrect. No, it doesn't. No, orange doesn't, orchestra, doesn't. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Felix in Lyme Regis wants to know, do ladybirds sneeze? Uh, yes, they do. Now, what does it sound like? Did you give... Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from Rick, what's for tea? Uh, bacon, egg and shoes. Nice tea, like it. Thanks. From Rose, age 10, why can't shoes talk? Uh, because they haven't got... Well, they've got tongues, but they haven't got lips. <laughs> uh, there we go. I okay, let's tally those up. <laughs> Did you want oh, 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 I don't mind how many I scored. Like I said, I'm just doing it for the fun of it. All right, fair enough. But for everyone at home who was interested, Jeff got 20, I got 22, so I win. Woohoo! Mini celebration! That is an outrage! I totally should have won! I got so many more than him! Sorry, children. Jeff got overexcited, so he's resting now. But why don't we all watch Jolly Uncle John Barrowman? I mean, animals at work. Huh? Who am I? Uh, Who am I? That's Sonali. No, oh, I was doing the Barrowman dance. Oh, the Barrowman boogie. I love the animals at work. Oh, all right. Uh, it's time for us to answer some more of your stupid questions. Dan has a little twinkle in his eye, so I think that's he's up to right, something. That's right, Jeff. I've got some help. Is it my dirty laundry or could it be the clue bucket? It's back. It's here. It's ready to help. The clue bucket. We have absolutely no idea what's in the clue bucket, but it's going to help us answer these questions. Our first question is from Georgia. Yes. She asks, why are elephants scared of mice? Why are elephants scared of mice? Because <laughs> mice wear clogs. Now, I saw a mouse. Where? They're on the stair. A little mouse with clogs on saying, well, I declare scaring elephants. That was a cop-out, but it was. Yeah, it was a cop-out. Well, well, All right. Done. All right, bit of word association from Dan. I go from Autumn in Doncaster who asks, why don't Jaffa Cates go to disco parties? Why don't they? Because... Oh, it's Dunstan's cousin. <laughs> that's, that's I think, what we got I think there. It's, it's because a Jaffa Cakes actually have superior brains like this, and anyone with superior brain realizes no one looks good at a disco, so they don't go. <laughs> that is scary. It is. Get rid it of it. It looks a bit like John Berriman. I've got from Connor from London who asked, why do people not wear cheese on their head? Why do people not wear cheese on their head? Because <laughs> their ears are too big. Nice and simple. That's why you won't wear them. Really? Too big. That's where yeah. you're going? Yeah, because if brie melts, it gets down and it oh, gets stuck in still the little bit. Yeah. All right, OK, well, we will be answering more of your stupid questions straight after Sam and Mark's guide to... Pigeons! Or dodging disaster, whichever. Now, Dan, if you remember, last week, yes. um, I tried to prove how professional I was yes, by you answering did. questions without being distracted. You did very well. And what did you do? I sung the Mr. Sausage song while waving cold sausages in front of your face. That's correct. And that was? Really, really funny. No, no. It was really, really unprofessional. Now, this week, I'm going to answer some stupid questions. I'm not going to lose my composure or be distracted or laugh. OK. And you are not going to wave cold sausages in my face, and you're not going to sing the Mr. Sausage song. I promise I won't sing the Mr. Sausage song or wave cold sausage in front of your face. You're going to wish I did. Right, well, uh, I think I've covered all my bases there, so I'll start answering some questions without all getting right. distracted. <laughs> my first question is, if swimming is good for you... Oh, I don't like the look at this. If swimming is good for you, why are whales so fat? Uh, <laughs> you like? You like. <laughs> Why are whales so fat? <laughs> but the good question is, because whales don't swim fast enough, they don't have any natural predators when no one chases them. Have. Next question, go on here from Wendy, who asks, so does the queen <laughs> speak? <laughs> and the go. answer is, the queen lines. does speak. Hello. Have you never seen the, uh, the, 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 the queen speak what to Christmas? What do you think you could do? She definitely answers that. You're on live TV like this. Your mum is watching. Next up, go on from Chelsea, aged 11 from London, who asks, how many chickens are there in my house? The answer is there's four chickens, two up, two down. It's very simple indeed. <laughs> Next up. You are. I've really got that. I do have another question. I'm not being distracted. I, I can't turn the page. I've got one here from Sophie in Rissington who asks, is it true that Dan wears his pants on his head? He does wear his pants on Say his head. Lord, and he know. looks really stupid. Hi, Mum. He looks really stupid where he wears his pants on his head. I'd hate to look stupid on national television. I'd turn about anyone else. Oh, oh, how I hate you, Dad. How I hate you. All right, well, let's see if News Round is as professional as you are. 
Sonali, I'm coming to get you. Wow, what a day of stupid questions. And Jeff? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, what a day indeed. The Big Big Cheese has asked that we come up with a new motto for CBBC using the answers because I think we are the men, and I use the word in the loosest sense of the word right now, to do this. Hey, I didn't do this. This was all you. I'm going to call you Loretta. Call me what you want. All right, Loretta, are you ready to put a motto together? Oh, so ready. OK, let's take some questions we had today. First off, we had one from Georgia. Why are elephants scared of mice? OK, so we question. start off with elephants. It's all about the clogs there. Uh, this one's from Felix in Lyme Regis. Do lay Ladybird sneeze. Sneeze. Show me your sneeze impression of a ladybird. Brilliant. Okay, and from Emily, why do round pizzas come in square boxes? It was a good question. That was why the indeed. round question. And then from Anonymous, cow or piggy to marry? Piggy! Really? Piggy! And finally, Chelsea, 10 years old, how many fingers do chickens have? And fingers! So what is today's motto, Loretta? It is... Elephant sneeze round piggy fingers. Wow. Well, that makes perfect sense to me. How about you? I think the big, big cheese will be thrilled I with think that. she will be... Yellow. Yellow, big, big cheese. She's not thrilled. What? She wants me to explain it, Loretta. OK. <clears throat> Hello, Big Big Cheese. This is Loretta. I don't know what I'm doing. Hi. Um, the elephants stand for hard work and finger stands for rewards. So it means hard work gives you some rewards. She wants to talk to you. Yep. OK, no problem. I'll tell him. Bye. Loretta's fired. They want Jeff back. Excellent. I'm Brilliant. back. There we go. <laughs> OK, which means it's just in time for three delivery. Oh. Now, I love this show, Jeff. It's the name. But it's the title. What? It's What's a bad pun. Three, Come on, three, sort three, it out. Three, it doesn't make what? sense. Ask a stupid question today has just been brilliant. I think it's been the best yet, Jeff. Yeah, completely. All, All right. right, I'll see you tomorrow then. I guess that's everything. Yeah, I think so. Well, I've got a really funny feeling we've forgotten something. I don't think so, mate. In fact, I think we've covered everything we were meant to. There's absolutely nothing we've forgotten. Well, if you should. Um, you, you all right? Yeah, I tripped over this CBBC rule book 2009. Ah! No, I'm ah! all right. I'm OK. Hey, Sam! What? It's the, it's the rule book! We got the big scary test tomorrow! Right, we've got to get straight home. We've got to revise. Ah, 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 hold your little horsies. Come back here. It says here, rule 798, that one of us had to clean the stationery cupboard beast's teeth with this toothbrush. I always wondered what that was for. Well, which one of us is going to do it? I think we both know there's only one way to decide. You're right. I'll phone Andrew Lloyd Webber. You get the hedgehogs. No. Andy! Don't ever call Andrew Lloyd Webber. Not after last time. I was talking about a word battle. So was I. All right, then. Off you go. <clears throat> Steamroller. Uh, kneecap. Uh, buttery. Oh, volume. Kipper. Uh, rewind. Forehead. Ah, slipped. Oh. Oh, oh, come on, oh. hat trick. How about that? What is up with you? You used to be good at this Beated game. Beated by slip. What a schoolboy error. All right then, princess. I'll see you tomorrow. Here you go. You do the teeth. Have fun. High five. High five. Right, well, um... Oh, 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 don't forget to revise when you Can't get home. Can't make promises, Jeff. Right, well, uh, I'll see you lot tomorrow, hopefully. Ah, uh, um, hey, beastie! Beastie! Hi. A little bit of oral hygiene. Should we have a little go? Oh, no, no, please! No! Ah! No! Ah! Oh, you could have flossed! <laughs>